John Bevilacqua and his family have been making wine for years the old-fashioned way. We're the third generation of uh, lifelong winemakers originated in Italy. Our grandparents and parents emigrated from Italy to Roslindale, which is where we grew up. Together with his brothers and cousins, the family turned their passion into a business, opening Di Bovino Winery in 2020. The Di Bovino name is a, a combination of the three family surnames, Di Napoli, Bevilacqua, and Arpino. No, there aren't acres of vineyards off Route 1 here in Walpole, but the family winery does have a laid back patio where they currently offer their eight reds and five whites. Growing up, we were traditional red, Zinfandel, Sangiovese, Cab, on the white side, primarily Muscatel and maybe a Pinot Grigio occasionally. While a crisp white wine can be refreshing. People come for the wine, but they stay for the slushies. That's right, Diva Vino serves up three flavors of wine slushies. When we first started introducing the slushie to the public, we were using a Pinot Grigio and a Malbec, and people love that. And then we've just recently shifted to a rosé and our Zinfandel. Our, our most popular slushy is what we refer to as our parfait, which is a layer of rosé, a layer of Zinfandel, a layer of, so it is a nice parfait look and people uh, really go crazy over it. So much that they had to purchase multiple slushy machines. When you're walking out to serve a table, you can see every head in the place turn and everybody wants one. I believe one weekend, I think we sold over 400 slushies on the weekend. Last year we were well over 5,500 slushies in a short uh, summer season. Di Bovino keeps up by bringing in 35 tons of grapes each year from California's Napa Valley region. Place called Sassoon Valley, all hand picked, all hand packed. We don't add any sulfites, preservatives, chemicals, additives, no coloring. The fruit is the star of the show. So consequently, people that uh, traditionally would have problems maybe um, tolerating red wine can, can drink ours um, very, very easily. So it's old school, European style. The way their parents taught them. After all, it is a family business. When we're here together, we're pouring wine we're actually pouring ourselves into the experience. We treat this like we're having a party. Customers come in, we treat them like family members and like we're having a cookout or a party at our house and they really embrace it. At this point, we've sipped on wine slushies, devoured cube toast, and attempted to eat a cookie monster sandwich. Now it's time for something healthy. Cold pressed juice, fresh smoothies, and mouth-watering acai bowls fly out of the kitchen at Liv's Juice and Acai Bar, the brainchild of Neil Paris and Chris Butts. Neil and I have been good friends for a long time now, and we'd meet up and we just kind of try to be healthy, and we would kind of hit a lot of juice bars, a lot of places with the bowls and the smoothies and the toast. And we just kept saying to ourselves, like. I think we could do this. We could do it better. After years of research, the two friends opened the Medford Cafe specializing in juice, smoothies, and the popular acai bowl. Found in the rainforest of South America, the acai berry is a small grape-like fruit. It's most notable for its antioxidant properties. There are four smoothie bowls at Liv's, the traditional acai bowl, the pitaya bowl made with pink dragon fruit, the blue magic bowl made with blue spirulina, and the green bowl with spinach, kale, banana, and pineapple. We have three topping styles, and then if you can of course build your own. Liv's Juice and Acai Bar is named after Paris's daughter, Olivia. Olivia would be like out with us at lunch. She was like the life of the party. She would go over to other tables and she just loves entertaining and going out and having fun. And it just kind of came to both of us at the same time. Seven-year-old Olivia can often be found decorating acai bowls. Don't worry, this one's for her. But her favorite thing. I like all the juices and I love the sign autograph. And the neighborhood thinks it's pretty cool. Just kind of seeing, uh, you know, the feedback of people coming in saying, thank you for being here, thank you for opening. You guys got to open more. Second we hear that is like, it just makes it all worthwhile.
Mm. And back to DiBavino Winery. So if you like the wine slushies, mm -hmm. they actually have kits so you can make them at home. They do, and they actually also have non-alcoholic flavors as well. And the best part is you don't need a blender. All you need is your drink of choice, water, and put it all in the bag together. Shake it up, freeze it, and Anthony, you have yourself a slushie. All right.